What's going on you guys, Samber here. Welcome back to Alsamore. Now, if you didn't check out the last video with all of the names of the cities and areas and countries, go check that out. I'll link that above now. But in today's episode, we're going to be working on Beersheba, specifically uh, one of the suburbs in the city. So you can see I've already done a little bit of um, so you can see I've already done some suburban areas and yes there is a little bit of a traffic jam down there but in today's video basically I want to connect the two areas together so you can see the top area there and the more city area basically we're going to work on the areas in between and also towards the end of the video I'm going to show you guys a little bit more that I've done off camera um, and also I'm going to show you guys the major suburban area at the top of the screen which I actually didn't show you guys um, I didn't build it on camera basically so I want to show you guys that one as well and yeah so if you haven't checked out the last video this is their own country over here so it's based from the name Al Jazeera you know that TV show the um, the media company so Burjazir similar right Burjazir and then the capital is Burshiva right here now basically there is a lot of pedestrian activity because this city it is mostly low wealth buildings so it's going to attract low wealth citizens there's no schools i mean there's no universities um there's not too much work there's not really many offices or anything like that so a lot of them actually just walk around which is actually it's quite it's quite nice to look at them all just walking around it's quite nice so you can see right there that that walkway there there's a lot of people walking along there so we're actually going to kind of enhance that because you know there's going to be a lot of people so that's going to bring more businesses in the area and we want to make that area look pedestrian friendly so we do that by putting shop fronts and then putting little seating areas and um, also like tables and just trees and things like that and just make it look really nice basically now um, all of the buildings of course they are all very very squished in some of you guys don't like that but I mean, okay, but this this is what I've been wanting to do. I want it all to look very, very squished, and I want it to look like all of the buildings are pretty much just on top of each other. So, like, pretend they have a smaller building, and then another building was added on, and then another one on the side, then another one on the other side, then an extension at the top. So that's how I want it to look. I want it to look crazy. Basically, pretty much every block... Um, Pretty much every block is like their own big building so it's all connected they're all mushed together and you can see right there i don't know if you guys caught it but you can see some of the buildings are overlapping so what i do is i drag other buildings over the top of it to get rid of where it overlaps and you can't actually see it so it looks like it's all one big proper building now you might notice there's a larger road there at the top now some of you guys aren't going to like that and that's totally fine but the reason why I wanted to do a larger road is because I wanted there to be a little bit of variation between the roads but that larger road I don't know if you guys will see it I'll show you guys at the end when we go out of the speed build but that road it kind of just goes from here to there not really connecting up anything but I kind of like it because it's odd it doesn't really make sense and that's exactly how the city should be so the whole road network doesn't make sense it's it's completely all over the place and there's going to be things that just look out of place that look wrong there's going to be traffic issues and that's exactly what I want for Beersheba I want it to be just that type of more poorer that poorer style city maybe it won't look so poor but I don't know maybe you guys can understand what I'm trying to say but yeah all the roads they don't have to make sense when we do the other country maybe then things will be, will become very fancy and you know there's going to be a lot of big things lots of bright lights and things like that so there's definitely going to be a big comparison because some of you guys have been asking like why don't you do like really fancy areas why haven't you done this or that and yeah you just have to wait we, i just want to focus on one area first because if i like do two countries and two different cities at once uh, it might be a little bit hard to keep up, especially if you're not watching every single episode, which I know is a lot. So if I just focus on one area for now, it's just going to make it easier. And it's also easier for me as well. Another thing, some people were saying that I needed more parking. So you'll notice there's going to be some little parking areas that pop up throughout this video. Um, there is a school right there. So I thought, 
mm, it's good to have some some parking near the school and there's some built some office buildings along that main road through there so i'm hoping in the future that main road there which is four lanes by the way i'm hoping it's going to become like a main road i'm hoping it's going to be full of pedestrians i'm hoping it's going to be really busy and crazy because that's what i want but wherever in the city wherever it becomes really busy and crazy we're going to have to change it a little bit and make it look like it's kind of like a center wherever the busy areas will be if that makes sense so our downtown area might end up not being the busiest area maybe it'll be somewhere completely different and so wherever that busy area is i will change it to make it look like a bit of a downtown area basically So you can see down in the demand master we have a huge demand for industrial we have about half what's that like 50 percent demand for um commercial we don't have any demand for the com uh, residential god i'm getting all my words mixed up but what i do throughout i've done this throughout this whole city commercial on the bottom and then residential on top so that's basically all that i'm doing throughout this whole area not not like every building is like that but a lot of them are doing it because i don't want the buildings just to be like just commercial or just residential i want it all to be a mixed use area the whole city it's very very mixed use basically um and i think that's a really great way to have a city because then they're not going to have to rely on getting a car and going from point a to point b in the city so it's going to make them walk more um, public transport will be coming it's probably just going to be buses in this city because it's a poorer city um, but yeah mixed use areas it's a really good idea and something that you see a lot uh, that's being developed nowadays you'll notice a lot of these larger big developments they'll have little shops down the bottom just to make it easier for all of those people so you can see now i'm starting to put in some larger buildings so i don't want there to be like one specific area where there's a huge building uh to to, to kind of show where the downtown is i want it to just have random little buildings that pop up basically like little mushrooms they just pop up pop up out of nowhere and that's just how it is so I like it and i like that those larger buildings they're colorful as well so it's really nice those larger buildings they're not going to be throughout the whole city obviously it's going to be in the the inner areas but it is going to go from where the downtown is currently and it's going to go all the way over to well i have to go show you guys later but it's going to go all the way over to a little beachside area so we're going to make a little fancy beachside area just to the top of the screen here and it's going that's going to have some nice beachfront areas and esplanades and things like that i'll show you guys that uh towards the end of the video now one other really important thing that i've been wanting to mention but i always forget uh is the actual design of the roads so there is a little bit of thought process now if you go into uh, a map and look at an older style city not in every city just an example you know um the older areas the roads are going to be wavy wonky crazy and then as you get more towards the outer areas of the city the roads will become more structured there's going to be more um like grids and just ba basically it's going to be more structured so that's what i am doing in Beersheba. the inner areas they're going to be wavy wonky and then the outer suburbs are going to be more square they're going to be more grid like and keep a look out for that you will see that in this video um, that suburb that i built and didn't show you guys uh, you'll notice that area it is very grid like it's very straight it's very structured and that's kind of representing the outer suburbs of the the city so keep a look out for that some people were wondering about that and now you know
And as always, I'll just quickly say this, I say this in most of my videos, if anyone knows of any uh, buildings that would fit in with this whole style, please let me know. You can contact me um, mostly by my Instagram. I'm always there if you want to send me links or just tell me the names of assets that would fit in with this because I'm always looking for other things. Now, what I'm doing here, I just want to mention this quickly because I showed this to you guys once and nobody understood why. So what I do, this whole map, the theme is these Maltese buildings. So when I zone, they automatically pop up and I don't have any of the other buildings. Now, the reason why I do this is because I, I get tired of going into the Find It mod and choosing each building individually. So what I do is, well not always, but sometimes I'll zone an area, the buildings will pop up like they have done right here. And then basically I'll just group them all together. And now that saves me a lot of time. Uh, instead of choosing each building individually, so I can just push them all together and then once I've pushed all, pushed all those together, I can fill it in with other buildings from the Find It mod, if that makes sense. Now, I showed this way back in one of the earlier episodes and people were like, why are you doing that? Like, why? And I don't know what the fuss was about. I thought it was kind of self-explanatory. I guess not, but basically it's just an, an alternative way to zone instead of placing it all down individually. I can just let it zone all the buildings and then push them all together. It saves so much time. You can see like what I'm doing here. I bunch them all together and then basically I can go into the find it mod and just place down some other ones where I can copy and paste them and it just saves so much time because each building basically in this whole map is placed down manually. Every single building. Um, it takes a while but it doesn't really worry me. I just put in my headphones and go 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 and it's good i really like this city i like how it's turning out so why don't we jump out of the speed build i've built a little bit more off camera so why don't we go check all of that out all right to you guys so we are in live mode now i'm not going to do too much i just want to basically just show you guys no fancy cinematics or anything like that i just want to show you guys the raw picture that sounds dirty, but <laughs> so here is a little bit of a downtown. Um, if there's any lag, cool, you noticed it, great. Um, some cities have lag. So I haven't done any other uh, expansion down here. Uh, maybe this part I didn't show you guys, but I haven't really done anything in the middle, but we should do that soon because it's kind of, it's kind of like, oh, like what are you doing? Um, this is a situation over here, 10 million cars. I know it's odd, but part of me, part of me kind of likes that there's all those cars here because it looks like it's just being used. Anyway, we're not focusing on our little downtown. So here is our newer areas. Basically, we filled in this area in this video here. So before there was that random big gap. Now we filled it all in. But let's go over here and um, yeah. So like I said, the outer areas, they're going to be more grid-like. Um, it's going to be more structured. It still looks pretty good. I tried not to do like a hardcore grid because they're boring. So you can see the grids are a little bit, oh, they're kind of straight, but like here, they're a little bit wonky. These ones here, they're kind of, it transitions from a wonky grid down into more, more of a structured grid. Um, down here, we have some interesting shapes. I really do like this area. I like, I don't know what this is. I don't know what that's doing, but I like this area here. I like that there's so many people walking around. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just really nice. The sun is just about to go down, but here is our little street that we were working on. So even though there's not really much on there, I, I just wanted to add in like a couple of little seating areas. Um, we've got some shop fronts, we've got some offices and things like that. Uh, same with this one over here. So we have a monument there. We have offices, offices, and some shops, schools, and th I think those are also shops as well. And it's just nice. It's cozy. Uh, and the, the population isn't too big in this area yet because a lot of these buildings, they don't have a huge capacity, which is okay. It doesn't really matter. Um, oh yeah. Now I said about a beachfront area. So this is going to be the beachfront area over here. So pretty good. It's not really, it's more of a lake front, isn't it? That's all right. So there's going to be some nice luxury buildings over here. I just noticed that's, that was disappearing. Okay. We'll hide that part, but yeah, this is going to be a nice beachfront area, but anyway, Back over here. So here is our an area that I worked off 
worked on off camera. Nothing really that different from what you've seen. Mostly the same buildings, just a few random other ones. Uh, and then a few random high rise buildings just to mix it up a little bit. And I wanted to start doing some high rises over here because we'll slowly transition into these buildings, into these high rise buildings over here. So, uh, what else can I show you guys? I guess we can just come over here and just have a look. Nothing really too fancy. All of these buildings over here, they are lower. So they're probably like maximum three. That one's, uh, that one's kind of four. But mostly I wanted them all to be the same height through here. One random monument, um, a little bit of a plaza area with a cafe. But yeah, really nothing too special over here. It was kind of just like a filler area. But you know what? I, can't, I really do like this area. It's quite nice. So I believe... Now, what do you think the population is of this of Burr Shiva? Quick, take your guesses. It's not that much. It's just under 8,000. So not, not that much at all. Households, almost 3,000. Workers, almost 5,000. Not many tourists. And yeah, I th think that's basically all I can show you guys. A lot of car parks, but still a lot more to do in this city. Why don't we leave it at that? A lot to do. Uh, still a lot to do. Now, I'll ask you guys, what would you like to see me work on next? We can do like the beachfront area. We can fill in more of these areas. We can do like a little bit of a harbor area. I'm not sure. Also, I'll just show you guys over here in Safed, which is this, the city way over here. I've been expanding it slowly. It's not done yet, but slowly expanding it. Um, put in some fishing industry, a little bit of a industrial area, nothing too fancy, but it's, it's growing and I haven't showed you guys, sorry about that, but I got a little bit carried away, but this city over here, I quite like it, quite like this one. It, it fits in very, very well in the area. So there we go, you guys, Safid, Bersheva, forget what that one's called, forget what that one's called. We still have all this area to go. A lot to do. So anyway, that's basically it from me. I'll catch you guys next time.